No, he, he, you know, he was a member of Skull and Bones. Right. Uh, and he, which he didn't, he says he did not take seriously. Yeah. Um, but his father was also uh, Prescott Bush. His grandfather was a member, and I'm sure you're aware of Prescott Bush's um, Nazi involvement. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he looked and like a Nazi, too. Well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah doctor. Like let me let me tell you. Excuse me. Well, I, I've seen. I don't know if you've been on a net enough to see there. That somebody has a morph of Hitler into him. Have you seen that? No, no. Yeah, of the elder um, of the elder Bush. It's, yeah, um, it's it's remarkable. The, uh, yeah, they're they're yeah. they're Nazis. But go ahead. Well, the uh, there's no doubt about it that Prescott Bush, the grandfather mm -hmm. of our of uh, and the great grandfather of our two presidents here. Yeah. He, um, they took his bank away from yeah. him. The United States government took his bank because he was supporting the Nazi cause. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just him. There were a number mm -hmm. of um, American um, um, multimillionaires in right. support of, of the philosophy of, uh, of Hitler yeah. uh, and, and passed on money along those lines. Right. Uh, it's amazing to me and, uh, that well, – actually, it's not so amazing when you consider – that NBC is owned by General Electric. Westinghouse owns CNN. Uh, the, the, Walt Disney is. But Disney owned the ABC or CBS, etc. Yep. But when you have a media that's owned by the most uh, powerful corporate entities that mm -hmm. are multi-billionaires, right. even though they allow reporters to make it look like uh, they're doing their job, right. there's very it's very difficult to get. Mm -hmm. truth out yeah. and that's probably one of the reasons why it's important mm -hmm. for you to have yeah. radio shows and yeah. others to have radio right. shows and be, because that's not going to get out into the mm -hmm. media they own it mm -hmm. uh, it's my understanding that in um, 19 around 1986 it was mm -hmm. was ronald reagan they, you know he they, he's almost a saint according to most people <laughs> but ronald reagan allowed this to happen yeah. when they discovered when the republican party decided how it was going to win elections forever. Mm -hmm. They figured it out. Mm -hmm. Own the media. Yeah. If you own the media, you can get your man in there, even, and even if, even if you have to cheat, <laughs> even if you have to steal the election, yeah. they're not going to talk about it, right? No, I mean, no, I'm no, not saying anything it, right, that yeah. you, you certainly already know yeah. on these lines. Well, yeah. and I, wish, I well, wish it weren't true. Well, I'm, I'm, but, wonder, I'm wondering, though, Doctor, it, is... As you said, the Republicans found out how to win elections forever into perpetuity. Is that right? Perpetuity? Uh, yeah. By, by, by controlling the, the news media. But I'm just wondering, it, did they also discover that they had, all, they all had to be a skull and bonesman? Well, they didn't all have to be that way because, you know, I mean, if you when you have see. interlocking directorates, um, the skull and bones philosophy is one that's very supportive, supportive of the Hegelian doctrine. Ooh, and the Hegelian that, doctrine... Hegelian. Uh, thesis, uh, antithesis, antithesis, and uh, synthesis yeah. process is mm -hmm. one that the Nazis loved. Mm -hmm. It's no, it's no um, coincidence, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, that the same philosophy within the Skull and Bones is greatly uh, supportive mm -hmm. of that type of outlook. In other words, people should not be given, everyone should not be given the right to vote. Everyone should not be. Uh, um, given the right to become president, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they, mm -hmm. They'd like to have their yeah. own friends in that position. Mm -hmm. And that's what Skull and Bones certainly has done that. Yeah. But there are other organizations, as you, as you know, yeah. that, that feed into that. That yeah. are friends, supporters of, and interlocking directorates makes it almost impossible to point your finger uh -huh. at exactly who's so, doing what. Yeah, yeah. So but what you're saying then, that, that Skull and Bones is, is a little bit more than a Halloween costume uh, oh, event yeah. right when everybody puts on yeah. costumes and runs around with a skull and stuff. All right, hey, we have yeah. this. We have we have this question here for you. Uh, can you talk about the Green Lady? Do you anything about the Green Lady? Well, I know about the Green Man in regards to the Celtic tradition. Uh, I know about the Green Language, uh, which is an esoteric language, which is the same thing as the yeah. language of the birds. And the Green Party. Green Lady. Now the Green Lady. Who, who is the Green Lady? I don't know. Uh, Melody, if you'd like to clarify that there, that is a question that came in on our Fast Blast, fast blast link there. All right, now we have another question here for you. Uh, you wrote this book, and it seems that it's coming out before the elections. Is that a coincidence? Are, are you trying to... Oh, no. 
it, it came out, uh, that was the reason why I had to write this book. Mm -hmm. Because, let me give you an example. Um, by the way, uh, for your listeners, if they want to get a lot of this other information for free, it's easy to do. If you go to our website, unitedsymbolismofamerica.com, you see my original book was about 700 pages. Now, no, pu no publisher is going to publish 700 pages, right? I mean, it's not going to happen. Uh, and had over 140 mm -hmm. some illustrations, and we have 70 good illustrations. But you can get all of that stuff for free. All of the stuff, much of the stuff that that was not in the book, going go to unitedsymbolismofamerica.com and check mm -hmm. out those images and check out the information. Now. Uh, what was your question again? Oh, hey, by the way, we just got the clarification. I was going to email this person, get get his information, but they gave it right to me. Now, the green lady is the Statue of Liberty. Oh, the green lady. Oh, my gosh. That's wonderful. Hey, that is that is just terrific from the standpoint of symbolism and uh, well, the standpoint of what, well, what she is. She well, is she, an ancient goddess. Well, she looks like, ways about it. Well, she looks like She's a man, a, though. What, what's up with that? Well, that's because it looks like his mom. <laughs> He used his mom. <laughs> we have a photograph of his All mom right. in the book. Right. Tell us about uh, the Green Lady. What's going on there? What's up? What's up with that? Well, the Green Lady is uh, being the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Is is um, divine, the divine feminine, and the divine mm -hmm. feminine deals with higher consciousness. Mm -hmm. When you take a look, say for instance, at the crown on her head, yeah. the crown on her head of seven points. We are, you know, and we're generally told, you know, that seven stands for the seven seas, mm -hmm. stands for the seven continents. But, mm -hmm. you know, seven is a most sacred number. Mm -hmm. The combination of the triangle and the and the square, or the three and the right. four, meaning completion. And of course, in the Kabbalah, that's a symbol for netzach or mm -hmm. victory. Uh, but it, the Green Lady is about higher cosmic consciousness. This mm -hmm. is a woman, the a, a full divine power that is not mm -hmm. just she, yes she's a female here mm -hmm. however mm -hmm. all of us all of us have the same energy within us uh, which which basically is enlightenment and her, it, that's why she's carrying that torch oh. a torch in her right hand mm -hmm. deals with uh, shedding light on mm -hmm. higher consciousness and what she is doing there um, is she's holding it in her right hand right. now I'm sure you know all about healing so in healing, that right hand mm -hmm. is the hand of outgoing, mm -hmm. uh, extroverted mm -hmm. uh, energy mm -hmm. to the outside world, whereas mm -hmm. the left hand is the receiving. One mm -hmm. is the giving hand, yep. one is the receiving hand. Right. So that laying on of hands is, mm -hmm. is this uh, energy no. cycle that mm -hmm. one uses to elevate consciousness and therefore and elevate the immune system. Now, doctors right. are beginning to find out by if you elevate the immune system, you can cure most diseases. That's just finally okay. just come out. Now, this is old yeah, stuff, right? Yeah, it seems like it. 40, 50 years old. Sure. But now the AMA is talking about it. Thank right. God they are, because uh -huh. people, other people were thrown in jail for doing it, and now they can do it. Well, right. um, uh, but the, the, back to the Statue of Liberty, mm -hmm. she's, holding, she's holding a book or a tablet yeah. in her left hand, yeah. and that, that date on it is uh, July 4th, 1776, obviously mm -hmm. the, the right. date of founding right. of America. And right. that book is, if we get into anything esoteric, you can refer it back to to uh, the, what Edgar Casey calls the Akashic Record. Mm -hmm. it, it can be uh, sim it's a symbol, literally, of everything that we've ever mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. or done on this planet is recorded somewhere in mm -hmm. the ethers. Mm -hmm. And um, so, so the Statue of Liberty mm -hmm. is actually a, an individual who has attained cosmic. Or, if you'd like, Christ consciousness. They mm -hmm. have attained mm -hmm. extremely high consciousness. Yeah. And it's not just uh, a female. It is, it's basically all humans can attain that. Yeah. But she is standing on a chain. Yeah. She's broken the, the chains of karma. She has broken away from the physical world because Ooh. what she's basically saying, and most of the other symbols in, of, of America is about, is about balance. What she's mm -hmm. saying that in order to... to um, manifest your own personal destiny or any destiny, right. there's a little process. It's a scientific process. There's a science to prayer, there's a science to meditation, and then mm -hmm. there's a science literally to service. Because mm -hmm. that's what Joseph Campbell was always talking about. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing to, to pray, 